ghost in the brain It's always on time, it's always the same But after 35 seconds it's the same What's going on, Seaville? It's been a while, but we're back and better than ever. We have a fun show tonight. We have Lighthouse Studios, who bring kids together to make films. We've got Dina Gould, the director. We've got Jason Robinson, the lead mentor. And our house band of the week is Ian Gillum and the Fire Kings. Take it away. Woo! <laughs> Beating oh, heart. That's so sweet. That was lovely. Catch me while I swoon. <laughs> <laughs> that was so hot, you guys. Thank you so much. So tell me, what's happening with you guys? We, any performances coming up? Yeah, the best uh, best thing to come to is probably the Bristol Rhythm and Roots Foundation. Um, they're doing a festival down there in Bristol, Virginia, Tennessee, right on State Street. 
It's a um, bunch of bands, 100 plus bands throughout the whole area. They got a bunch of stages going on. And so we're playing, I think, Saturday and Sunday down there. That's the 16th through the 18th. 16th through the 18th of September. Yeah. And is it like an all night thing? Do people stay the night it's or? Very, oh, well, I mean, you know, you're there all weekend listening to music. So right. I mean, all the hotels. Pretty are, much. Yeah. Okay, right. cool. So. We're Backstage be at the passes. Inn in Bristol, so whoever wants to come by, say hey. Then Holiday come on. Inn, did you hear that? <laughs> Ian Gillum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll get stalkers. I'll look up Charlie Bell. Yeah, 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 I'll be your groupie. <laughs> and the fire case. So social media, uh, Facebook, Facebook yep. and they just type in your name, Ian G I L L I A M. Yep. Or what about if they type in Fire Kings? That'll Will they get you? you? Fire yeah, if you put it one word, it'll come up. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And you've got videos on YouTube. Right. I suggest, mis is it Mystery Chain? Mystery Train. When he yeah. does Mystery Chain Train, you'll never <laughs> listen to it again the same way. It's wonderful. Thanks. All right, well, thank you guys. Yeah. Thank, thank you so you. much. Stay tuned now for Lighthouse Trailer. Dina Gould, Jason Robinson, Kids Making Film. It's going to be a lot of fun. See you soon. That was amazing. Your kids yeah. did that trailer. Yes. They did. Hi, Dina. Hi, Lana. Hi, Jason. Hello, Lana. We've got the director of Lighthouse in the house. We've got Jason, lead mentor, I believe your title is, in the house. How are you guys? Great. great. Good. Thank you. Thanks good. for having us. You, oh, it's great to have you. So your students made that trailer, and actually it's just the beginning of one that we'll show a little bit of it later. Right. So tell me a little bit about what Lighthouse is. I know that right. it is bringing kids together to make film. Right. Can you expand on that a little bit? Well, that's exactly what we like to think of it as, as a place where students come together to make movies. And we, our workshops are mentor-led. We encourage students to create their own vision. And we have a number of workshops that we offer to help them in that way. We have special skills workshops. Um, we also offer different types of filmmaking, such as... Let, let, me, start, let me just interrupt you. So you, you mentioned um, mentor-led programs. Mm -hmm. And so will, will your mentors have gone through the program themselves, or are these people that you've hired from Charlottesville? Some have gone through the program. Um, this summer we had some assistant mentors who had were previous Lighthouse students oh, who so cool. come back to help us out. And then we also have some people who have been with Lighthouse for a while and have been teaching classes. We look for people with skills that pertain to uh, workshops that we have going on. So for example, if we have, we're working on a PSA for a public service, a announcement. Public service cool. announcement for a nonprofit, then we oftentimes would have somebody who's actually directed and created commercials. That's um, fantastic. So they, they, exactly. They and so the kids the get to learn process. from pro professionals. Exactly. So you started to list some of the classes and Jason, maybe you want to touch on some of those. Um, Dina mentioned a special skills class. Can you tell me a little sort of quick summary of what that might be? What kids might learn in that class? Yeah, we have a really exciting slate of classes this fall. Uh, the first one that you mentioned, we're doing a, uh, a special skills class. It's uh, focusing on cinematography and directing. Right. And in a lot of our summer classes, uh, the, sort of the point is that we make a short film and, uh, and we get hands-on learning. And so there's not a lot of opportunities really to sit down and have more sort of formal instruction where we kind of you know, break down scenes and learn you know, uh, what lights go where and you know, mm -hmm. uh, very technical things about camera work and, and lighting and, and uh, and directing. So we're for the fall of this year. We're going to have a class that focuses specifically 
on on the different technical aspects of filmmaking that sometimes we don't really get a chance to focus on in the, in the fall. summer. In the in summer, the summer right? Yeah. That's fantastic. And then what what are a couple of others? Because your classes are actually starting. Is it at the end of September? Right. So for all yes. the parents out there who have budding filmmakers, what what do they have to look forward to? Uh, another class that we have is a. Uh, it's always very popular. We offer it uh, in the fall, winter, and spring, and that's static. And that's our film appreciation sort of film studies class. It's the only class like that that we offer at the Lighthouse that is not production based. And uh, we watch a lot of, uh, we watch every week we watch a film and then we have a discussion about it and we do sort of a critical analysis of the film and talk about the history and the, of the film and mm -hmm. the themes. And that's it's, it's cool. really great. That's and it gets, fun. we try and focus on, uh, you know, films that the students haven't seen. We watch a lot of classics, and this year we're going to actually watch a lot of foreign films Citizen as well. Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> that's what actually, I had to watch when I was in Jason, film class. Well, ta well, Tell the one that you uncovered that's been oh, well, quite a bit. We, we just recently found out from a student that uh, has been taking static for a while that they've seen Rear Window four times. <gasps> so we're trying to unearth some it's other. not on the slate. <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing, though. So there's the, there's some sort of go-to films when you're doing an introduction to, uh, to, you know, to film studies class. And we're sort of going to do some, uh, some, some different films that maybe most people don't see uh, when they first start taking a film class. So we can appeal to students who've taken this class before as well as students that have never taken it. That's and exciting. I think that this is going to be more of an emphasis on, on uh, classic foreign films this semester. Very exciting. Well, I'm interested to hear what the kids have to say about it. Lighthouse has provided a lot of opportunities over the years. We've had students uh, go to Los Angeles through the LA Film Festival. We've had students go to uh, Africa. We have a student going to France soon. Uh, so a lot of opportunities come up just from being a part of Lighthouse and learning the filmmaking skills. mentor. I come in every day and I help the kids make a movie. It's fun to be in an environment where everyone's, you know, being really creative and they're not just thinking, you know, about, okay, let's get this done, let's get this done. It's like they really want to make something great. It's great to see the kids who are really good at it go off and become really successful and make something out of what they're doing. Five, six, seven, I really found something that I could relate to using film as an art form. If you're interested in trying out film, you should definitely come to Lighthouse because even though it seems like a kind of intimidating process to be able to do film when you're in high school, it's really possible and there's so many great opportunities there and anybody can try it. There's a lot of workshops at Lighthouse. There's like a really wide variety of stuff you can do. There's narrative workshops and documentary workshops and animation workshops. You can do Adrenaline, um, which is a film festival that um, is mostly students from the University of Virginia, and that's really cool, and it's really cool how you can do that with Lighthouse when you're a teenager. It's really neat. It sounds generic, but it's a really friendly atmosphere, and as soon as I got there, I felt like, I mean, everyone was really nice and was open and willing to talk. I wasn't, I was never nervous in Lighthouse, I guess. 
the, the equipment's all really great, top-notch um, equipment that I definitely wouldn't get access to unless I was coming here to a lighthouse. Lighthouse is really good about um, teaching you all the aspects of filmmaking so you learn what you like to do personally instead of just directing or just editing or just filming or just acting. It's really a uh, great all-around um, all tool. It's a fantastic place. I mean, I've really, really had a great time there in the past, past couple years. Amazing. They're amazing kids. I totally want to take these classes. <laughs> but you don't do them for adults, do you? No, not no. yet. Just for the kids. Okay. All right, all right. So far. I, I am so amazed at how uh, advanced they seem. I mean, they're doing stuff that you see on real sets, it seems, mm -hmm. which is really exciting. And I'm particularly excited about this because we are collaborating now, right. aren't we? We I are. don't know if the viewers have noticed this lovely new set, but we are actually in Lighthouse Studios where the kids actually study. This is going to be our new set because we are collaborating with Lighthouse. And I'm going to let Dina talk a little bit yeah. about what that means for the kids of Lighthouse. Well, we're very excited about it. Most of the classes that they take, they're coming up with their ideas, storyboarding, filming, editing. And this will actually give them an opportunity to be part of production crew on a television show. Yes. And it's going to mean everything from new technical skills, it's a studio setup, three cameras, learning how to switch between the cameras and editing, through to actually creating something that is timed, because most of their films right. are not with Dealing a with diva hosts. Of time. Exactly. <laughs> professionals and the whole, the whole thing. So it's, it's very exciting for us. Tell me about the films that you make. I think that you have one that we can see. Right. The one that we're gonna show today is from our Sweeted Challenge. And it's a... It's uh, a wait, sorry, the what challenge? The Sweeted Challenge. What is that? Uh, a few years ago, the uh, director Michel Gondry made a film called Be Kind Rewind. And it's starring uh, Jack Black and Most Def. And it's the sort of kind of it's kind of an out there sort of experimental narrative about uh, uh, two uh, video store employees that accidentally erase all of the videos in their video store, <gasps> and in order to uh, sort of save their jobs, they decide to remake all of the movies that that, that they're in their video store. Oh, you've got and they, and, and the idea behind the Sweden challenge is that it's sort of this move. This kind of technique has taken off, and people do it a lot. It's a, if you, you know, search for it on YouTube, you'll see tons of examples of this. So we have our own suite of challenge here, and it, and and the idea behind it is that <laughs> you take a you make a movie uh, of like a five minute or less version of a movie uh, that you've seen before, and you make it completely from memory with no budget, you know, no sets. Like you make all of your own props. Wow. And, uh, and so the one that we did this year that we're going to show today is the kids' version of Inception. The kids' version of Inception. Okay, mm -hmm. take it away. Tell me what you know! I've always hated this carpet. I have a test for you! Stop! It's worthless. Stop! Better? Stop! That's more like it. So, how did we get here? So, you want to take a look at some paradoxical architecture? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> 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 
that some people have to manifest their dreams. Mm -hmm. So when you say, I It's designed as a labyrinth. There must be access routes through the maze. I was disappointed that you tried. We have to go deeper. You don't remember when you asked me to marry you? I do. You said you'd dream that we'd grow old together. That was brilliant. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. They're stars. They're, they're going to be uh, big filmmakers one day, and I hope they remember the actresses of Charlottesville in their movies. Oh, can, you, can you work on that for me? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so listen, tell me about how our viewers can find out about you, website, any social media, contact information. Right. Well, the website is lighthousestudio.org, and all of the upcoming workshops are listed on the website. Um, we also have a Facebook page and Twitter. All right, well, thank you so much, Dina and Jason. That was wonderful. I'm really excited about our partnership and collaboration. So everybody, oh, we have a house fly. <laughs> we have the lighthouse, what's going on, house Seville fly. fly. <laughs> And I want to say thank you uh, to Roxy Daisy for our lovely fern. And what would you call this, Dina? A fern oh, holder? It's a holder. It's plant beautiful. A, a, a very fancy plant it, holder. It looks like it's sort of maybe a little <laughs> Provence-ish. Mm -hmm. It's very beautiful. So we thank yes. Roxy Daisy very much for that. And uh, stay tuned for next week. We are uh, going to have Erica Arvold from Arvold Studios, and the house band is a secret. So you'll have to come back next week to find out who they are. And speaking of house bands, we're going to let Ian Gillum and the Fire Kings wrap it up. So stay tuned for next week and spread the good word.